Hey everybody, my name's John, and here I'll be giving you my first impressions of the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. So let's get down to it. Alright, this is going to be a three-part series over the course of three weeks in which I play and discuss the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, this week, obviously, I'm doing my first impressions. Next week, I'm just going to be doing a halfway point update, if you will, and then on the third week, I'll be giving you my final review. Alright, so first off, I want to acknowledge that obviously this is pre-release software, it's not going to be perfect, I'm not expecting it to be perfect, and neither should you. Alright, let's get started. First thing I noticed about this game when I started playing is that it uses the same control scheme as Halo 4. So when I started playing this after spending about a month on Halo 2 Anniversary, I had no clue what was going on, I, I didn't know how to play the game basically. Uh, needless to say, I lost quite a few firefights. Alright, next I'm going to address the two maps that we can play on right now. One of them is called Truth, which is a remake of the classic midship from Halo 2, and the second is called Empire. Okay, so first I want to address Truth. For being so early in development, I think this map is absolutely gorgeous. It plays exactly like the original midship, but it also has a few twists that Halo 5 Guardians is going to throw into the mix in multiplayer. I'll talk about those next. Also, um, Empire. Empire is definitely definitely the lesser of the two maps here. Um, it's just, it, it doesn't compare. I don't know if it's the nostalgic effect or, I don't know what it is. Just something about Empire, it's not as good as Truth is in my in my eyes. Uh, another thing I want to point out with Empire is there are two sniper rifles on either end of the map, and the map is symmetrical. But the problem is, towards the middle, there are a lot of pillars and buildings and everything, and you can't really get any good lines of sight with those sniper rifles. I don't know, I feel like they were just tacked on to um, demonstrate how the uh, power weapons spawn in in this game. I'm not a fan of that, but that's just my opinion. Next up, let's talk about all the different movements and abilities that Halo 5 Guardians brings into the mix. First up, we have Clamber. Now, to Clamber, you have to jump near a ledge and then press A again near the apex to climb over the ledge. This is perfect for situations where you're either chasing after somebody or somebody's even chasing you. You don't want to miss that jump. You could be sorry. Next up, this is probably my favorite out of all of the new abilities. So this is Dash. And to dash, you press B and you flick the left analog stick in any direction you want to go. This is perfect for avoiding a grenade that you see coming at you or just getting out of enemy fire and recovering your shields. I'm a huge fan of this one. Next up we have Ground Pound. And Ground Pound is a little bit tricky. It's, um, I can't really view it as practical in all situations, but when you pull it off, it is really cool. To perform a ground pound, you have to jump into the air and then hold the crouch button, which is right stick in, while you target an enemy. Now you're going to be in the air for a few seconds, so you need to make sure that you don't have other enemies around that are likely going to shoot you out of the sky, like a clay pigeon. Even though I complained earlier that this game didn't closely resemble a Halo game enough, I think these abilities just add a new flair to the Halo series. I think that these are a lot of fun, and um, I'm proud of 343 for just going out of their comfort zone and trying to make a change instead of just copying and pasting. I'm proud of them, and I think these are a great addition to the game. Before I finish up here and let you watch the rest of this gameplay, I want to talk about two specific things that are pretty much the hottest topics about this game right now. That's Sprint and Aim Down Sights. Now, if you're an avid Halo player, you know that in Halo 1, 2, and 3, there was no sprint. Halo Reach changed that, and a lot of people got angry, including myself. It, it just Same with this game. It just didn't feel like Halo did. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. It just didn't feel like what we were used to. Now, sprint in this game is different. When you sprint, your shields will not recharge. So, you can't just sprint away from an enemy because you're just going to get killed. When, you, when you're sprinting, you will not regain shields. So, it's... I see what 343 is doing here, they're kind of trying to nerf sprinting because they know we don't want it, but I think they don't want to get rid of it at the same time, so I think they're trying to find a nice compromise in between the two, but in my opinion, I just don't think it's working at all. I think sprint should be gone. In Halo games prior to Halo 4, there was not an accuracy penalty for not using aim down sights. Halo 4 changed that. 
when you didn't aim down sights, you were slightly less accurate with your firing. And a lot of players didn't like this, including myself, because we felt like aim down sights weren't necessary. In fact, they were even detrimental sometimes. You can just use your crosshairs, and then you can see everything around you, while when you use aim down sights, you're focusing on one enemy when maybe three can be flanking you to your left or right, and you won't know when you're using aim down sights. Now Halo 5 has fixed this, and there is now no longer any accuracy penalty for not using aim down sights, and I'm very, very grateful for this. Thank you, 343. After spending a few days with this beta, I can honestly say that I'm excited to see where 343 takes Halo. They've done a lot of great stuff with this game, and the franchise even, but they've also slipped up a lot of times. So we're going to have to see if they can pick themselves up and really prove to us that they care about this franchise. I really think they do. They just got to listen to us. Well, so far, this game is pretty good. I mean, sure, it's not exactly like Halo, but it's still genuinely fun and... At the end of the day, that's all I really want out of a video game. So, if you have the Master Chief Collection for Xbox One, go ahead and give this a shot. I recommend it. This has been John with Halo 5 Guardians Multiplayer Beta, and I'll see you next week. Kill.